It did not go as planned. It'll still be a fun thrift with me. <laughs> Thrifting drama. <sighs> Don't kick me out, Goodwill. I'm too scared to leave. I'm just gonna hide in this fitting room. Hey, welcome back. This is Nikki Terry Style. Today we're doing a little small town thrifting in Culpeper, Virginia. There is something I love about doing a little small town thrift. Culpeper is one of those like really beautiful, scenic little historic towns in Virginia. So I always love when I get a chance to go through there, but this is my first time actually checking out the thrift stores. And let me tell you, these babies are gold, but there is kind of a surprise ending to this video. So you'll have to stick around to the end to see how the day turned out because it did not go as planned, but we'll get to that. But if you're new here, I do post new thrifting and secondhand fashion videos every Sunday. So you can subscribe and turn on notifications to check out future videos on this channel and go check out my playlist if you love thrift with me content. I've got already a ton of videos on there, but I do think this is gonna be a ton of fun for everyone. So without further ado, let's get going to Culpeper, Virginia and let's go thrifting. Okay, we're here at the first stop. This is a little charity shop called Full Circle Thrift. I feel like the stores in this area are either gonna be packed with vintage or they're gonna be packed with just like fast fashion, but let's go see what they've got to offer today. This looks really great so far. It's a lot bigger than I expected and the home decor is kind of calling me. I think I want to start in the home decor because it looks like there's some really cool interesting pieces and a lot of vintage maybe. So let's go take a look. looking for some mirrors for my home. Um, this one might not be big enough for what I want, but the shape of it is very cool. I love these pots. I see this style in thrift stores from time to time. It looks very vintage. Oh, these are actually marked 77. And there's three. I could make a cool planner if I put like a draining flower pot in there. This will be an awesome place to come for artwork or even just big frames because all these huge pieces are marked only 10 or $15 and you can always just reuse the frame and matting if you don't like the piece that's in there. I just think the price is so good. I'm really tempted to grab this little like tea or coffee set in pink. It's so cute. The color is called Shell Pink by Sterling, made in USA. And they only want $1.50 for the six pieces. And of course my kitchen is pink, so <laughs> it'll go perfectly. I've been looking for a plain navy tie for my boyfriend. Uh, he needs one for his suit this wedding season, and I think this one's perfect. Their ties are only a dollar. That's something you can always thrift. <gasps> this is so cute. I think I'm gonna take this home and use it as a vase. It's only $3. Let's start in the clothes. It looks a little bit light. This one would be really cute to wear just as a sleeveless top and then un unbutton it and tie the bottom up. It's a cool vintage like jersey tee. 
love the colors in that are really fun. It's a cute basic. And a couple cute plus size skirts. This is a uh, Jones New York white denim skirt, size 22. And this is a new with tags little anthropology skirt. It's got pockets too. And they marked it at six dollars. Also, I think this is cute, and I see people wearing this quilted, st like, patchwork style. Um, this one just doesn't, like, strike me, but I know there's probably a lot of people who would love to style something like this, because it is really cute. This is kind of it for the dress section, so they definitely don't have, they definitely don't have a ton of clothes here, pretty much. Too bad. Look at this cute hat. Hey, let's check out the bags. This is cute. I did end up finding one bag, which I'll show you later in the haul, but not a ton of clothes at this store. It definitely was better for home decor. Still, this was an interesting little pocket of t-shirts that I found, and I'll take you into the fitting room in a sec to show you everything I was considering. And then we'll go to the next stop. Here's the vintage t-shirt. And here's that Scorpions tee. It is like kind of an oversize, which I don't know when it's an oversized men's tee I like it, but sometimes oversized women's tee, like I don't like the neck of this. The draping of it is like super nice and it feels great right now because it's hot and like something really loose and I'd have a lot of good options for like tying it up and stuff. So I don't know, I kind of want to give this one a try. So yeah, I'm going to check out and then we'll go on to the next thrift store. I had to show you their cool upcycled light fixtures made from plastic cups. Aren't those awesome? For a lunch bag for my boyfriend. They have a couple cute ones here, but they're not like his style, probably obviously. So it's like this one maybe, but I don't know. I think I'll keep looking. I'm also checking out the belts for him, but look at this one. The buckle is really cool. Probably not for him, like for me, I mean, but it's got an embossed thing, but I don't know. I'm not sure if I would wear something like that, but check these out. There's like 30 silver pyramid stud belts. Wow. Like, what are these doing here? <laughs> I always like to check the men's denim, but I didn't find anything here today. I did find something on the women's side, which I'll have to show you in a second in the fitting room because I only captured my evil little hand wringing there. I didn't capture the actual items yet. 
I think this is just absolutely exquisite. If I had like a cool gallery wall going, this would be amazing, mixed in a gallery wall with other pieces. Look at this cute little vintage bag I just found. It's a little tote, I think that'll come home with me. Oh! Yay! Cart check. I am just about to go through everything and I'll show you guys what I found. I think I didn't film very much as I was going through. I, I don't think I got very much footage for you guys and I'm sorry about that, but then again, you really didn't miss anything. I pulled anything that I found interesting and there was just not a lot today, so that's okay, but I will show you everything anyway, so it'll still be a fun thrift with me. <laughs> We're in the fitting room. I'm gonna show you some of the things I'm considering and I'm being awkwardly quiet on camera because I had a convo with someone right outside the fitting room and I just didn't want to, her to think I was still talking to her when I went inside and was filming and so just one of those awkward moments. Anyway, this top is really cute. I regret leaving it behind kind of because I do think it's a really great little summer basic but just felt a little too basic in the moment. This cute vintage top I really liked, but it was too small, unfortunately, for me, so someone else will be happy to find it. And this cute little vintage vest. Um, I do not wear this color of yellow, so I left it behind. But I love this tag. This little pink 80s dolman sweatshirt I thought was really cute, but I decided I wouldn't get a lot of wear out of it because it's just a little bit too oversized, not the best fit. Kind of the same story with this top. I love the pink, I love the embroidery details, but just didn't love the fit on me. So that's gonna be a no from me. And now we'll try this linen piece. I thought this was like a dress, but it's uh, open down here, so. <laughs> Definitely not, or just a little tunic. So, eh, I probably don't want it. I definitely thought this would look very high fashion, like the mixed print is very cool, but it's super short and it's like a high-low situation. So, I'm gonna pass, but somebody maybe less tall than me will be really excited about it. <laughs> it's a cool dress. I just had to show you the graphic on the back of this shirt because like, wow. Give that person some kind of graphic design award for this concept. <laughs> All right, this is like a little sleep shirt. I'm considering this as just like a cute sort of summer dress or cropping it into a tee, but I don't know, I'm gonna try it on. Here we go. This is definitely too short on me for a dress, so I don't know about cropping it. I don't know. I just feel like I want to leave it. I think someone else would be really happy to find this and find it intact. <laughs> All right, this cute little vintage jacket. It looks like it's from the 70s, maybe. Hmm. I'm just staring at this trying to picture how I would want to style it and I'm like maybe with flare, high rise flare jeans, maybe over like an A-line dress or a, like a fitted pencil skirt, I don't know. Usually I like to know that I can style something at least like two ways if I take it home so. I decided to try this one because of the sheer top, but I'm worried it's just gonna be just super skin tight on me, so we'll see. Besides wearing the wrong bra today for this top, I really like it. I think that's cool. I feel like I wanna wear it with like a long, like a black um, maxi skirt and like platform sandals and just kind of have this like Y2K kind of look with it. I think this is such a cool, cute 90s moment, but I think it's too baggy on me. I just, I just think I'll leave it. I've captured it on film, so I can remember it forever. <laughs> 
I am the most excited about this piece. Excited to show you guys because I just like I found it when I had the camera off and I was like, <gasps> like it's so stinking cute. It's a little vintage acrylic sweater. Yay! I found a couple bottoms to try and these are like little velour track pants um, and yeah I just thought they looked comfy like loungy and how fun with like a bunch of my graphic tees and stuff like to wear around home when I want to get dressed but not like jeans you know. These are okay um I just they're not like high rise enough. I feel like I wouldn't wear them because they're like a low rise actually so I have them kind of hiked up right now to a mid rise but uh, yeah, eh, I think I can pass. I actually am really hoping that these fit me, but I think they'll be too small. But let's let's just try them. All right, these fit, but they're pretty tight around here, which is always like an issue for me, my hips and my belly. This is where I like to have more room, where I need more room. <laughs> but. Super high rise. I think the pattern is cool. I don't need them. Dang. Okay, we're all done, and I just, I think I'm taking home a couple of things from this Goodwill, but this is the last stop for the day, so I'm gonna go home and I'll give you the full haul of all of my finds for the day. Surprise! Guess what? I was about to leave and there's a major storm rolling through. <laughs> Did you hear the thunder? <laughs> Can't even see outside the windows. And I was getting ready to leave, but now I think I'm just gonna hang here and wait for this to pass by. There's flash flood warning, so I don't wanna be driving just in case. Maybe I'll go find, uh, try out all the furniture and sit down. <laughs> Drifting drama. It's still storming. I think I should get this black mini skirt. It's like a faux suede. It's just like an old navy brand, but that's cute, right? <laughs> I think the skirts are only like four bucks too, so. Oh. oh my god. Oh. Don't kick me out, Goodwill. I'm too scared to leave. <laughs> They close soon. I'm just gonna hide in this fitting room. But yeah, I think I'll get this skirt too. <laughs> Now's the part of the video where you know that I took my thumbnail photo before I went into Goodwill. <laughs> Good thing. <laughs> oh Lord. Here's me Googling whether it's safe to be in your car during a lightning storm. <laughs> I can't remember, it's either like one of the safer places or one of the least safe places. Is car safe during thunderstorm? No! <laughs> the good news is though, the outer metal shell does provide protection to those inside with the windows closed. Okay, the official word on the internet is the car is a safe place during a lightning storm because the metal of the car will protect me, but I shouldn't touch any metal. Just know this is not a safety video. <laughs> but I thought it would be hilarious to do a car haul, even though I never do them. Like, why not do it now in this like horrible conditions since I can't drive home yet? It's just, but like, let's just film it and we'll see what happens. <laughs> Oh, wow. Oh, that's wait, that's terrible. Okay, let's see what I got today. <laughs> hey, I'm just gonna pop in here with some close-ups of the items that you didn't get to see in store, since this is such a strange haul. <laughs> I got this vintage tote bag. I'm pretty excited about it. It's super cute. I got that black suede skirt. I thought the fit was really nice. It's just a little old navy mini skirt, but I don't have any mini skirts right now, I don't think. So the mini's making a comeback. You know I got this cardigan because I was like absolutely swooning over it. Ugh, 
It's just so stinking cute. I got that star embroidered mesh top set, which that would be super cute with a mini skirt maybe, with the black mini skirt. And you didn't see these because I found them when I was wandering around, but I got a pair of black Converse high tops, which has been on my thrift list. The shoes are 650 here too, so it's a good buy. I like that they're super worn. I don't know how much I want to even clean them up. I think I want them to look like super grungy, you know? But they do kind of gross me out to touch, so. Just gonna do another hand wipe. That was everything from Goodwill. From the first stop, you guys didn't see this. I found a little vintage coach bag. Just a little crossbody in brown. They charged $15 for it, which I thought was okay. Yeah. So I got a little coach bag. I decided to get this um, athletic tee after all because I thought I should put um, some iron-on letters on it and make it a little more interesting. I got the Scorpions tee, you guys saw that. I'm really glad I decided to get this and to try it because I think it's something that I will get a lot of wear out of. I got the navy tie for my boyfriend. Sorry, I'm just yelling at you, it's just so loud. <laughs> this is the worst haul ever. Like, it's so loud and dark. <laughs> Maybe this will just be the blooper reel. <laughs> And I got that strawberry pitcher for just a few bucks. I want to use this as like a vase on um, in my kitchen, I think. That was everything from Full Circle Thrift. And I stopped at another thrift store, but they were only open for 10 more minutes, so I didn't bother to film it. I just wanted to look as quickly as possible. And I gotta tell you, I have to bring you guys back to that thrift store because it was amazing. I was so bummed that I only had 10 minutes in there. It was the best thrift store of the day. So in 10 minutes, I did a little bit of damage. I'll show you everything I got there. I got this vintage blouse. It has a clamshell embroidered on it and all of the little buttons are also clamshells. I got this beautiful vintage embroidered blouse. I got this vintage tropical shirt. Another vintage tropical blouse. I couldn't decide between these two and like I had no time in there, like I said, so I was like, I'll just get both. And they were only two bucks a piece, so. But I think I like this one better, it's so 80s. My favorite find of the day was a toss up. It's either that, um, it's either that vintage cardigan with a little floral embroidery on it or it's this that I found at the thrift store we didn't go to. This little brass horse figurine, he's so cute. I have some brass figurines at home on a couple shelves so I just thought like he could go with my other little critters and yeah. It's either this or that cardigan is my favorite find of the day. Let me know what your favorite find was. Let me know what you thought about the crazy unexpected ending to this video. <laughs> if you're watching this, it means I made it home safe and sound, so please don't worry about me. <laughs> I'm gonna take every precaution. <laughs> I loved coming to Culpeper though, and this town was amazing to thrift in, so I definitely will make a trip back here sometime. It's about an hour from where I live. Definitely doable for a little day thrifting. I just adore a good small town thrift. So let me know your thoughts. Thanks for being here for it and thanks for thrifting with me as always. And I'll see you again soon for the next video. I guess that's it. I guess we'll be done. <laughs> There's nothing more to say. Just hang out with me, please. I'm so bored waiting for the storm to pass. I'll just sit here and ponder nature <laughs> and her absolute dominance over human life. <laughs> we tend to forget that, you know? God, this is the weirdest effing video ever. <laughs> I totally should use all this footage. I should just do it. <laughs> like, y'all will never see this coming. <laughs> I'm not even gonna tell you. <laughs> the surprise twist at the end. <laughs> Mwah. <laughs>